don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Do you understand? Bata, bata tempere, jam tan, jam tan. Je suis très heureux parce que vous voyez apprendre fulani. Dans ma bouche j'ai encore Wolof et fulani maintenant, mais j'ai oublié déjà. Mais quand j'ai travaillé à la station centre, toujours. Tujuh jangga wall of Efulani aksama hadati. Wow. Okay. I just wanted to, I just wanted to um, say a few words in in wall of in both wall of and Fulani. A bit of French, a bit of French wall of and Fulani. Uh, basically, um, I'm going to show you what resources I have here for Fulani. And I don't have too much for wall of. I just want to show you what show you what books I have now. You probably already familiar with these because it's, they're they're basically FSI. But I just want to show you what the book looks like and what the tapes look like in case you decide to uh, get this. So I believe your name is um, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to say this right, but I think your name is Rogan or something like that. Rogan, and you're in Italy right now, I believe. So yeah, um, it's great that you're interested in learning Fulani. This language is. I started learning Fulani and Wolof when uh, this was like maybe three, four years ago when I used to work at the um, fuel center, Kroger's fuel center. And at that time, I started learning Fulani, Wolof, Russian, um, Chi. Uh, I started learning those languages because I, I was meeting, and this, you know, when I started working there, it was my first time meeting Africans. Like, I'm, t I'm talking like real Africans. I've never met any Africans before in Akron. Okay, so I I used to see them come up to the gas station like they were dressed up in like the you know the African clothing, and I thought it was very interesting. And one day I asked them where they were from, and they told me Senegal. I said, "Well, we're from Senegal," and I was like, well, "Senegal? What? Are they? I don't know where Senegal. I was confused. I never heard of Senegal before. And, you know, uh, they told me they was in West Africa. You have Senegal. There were some from Gambia, and then I asked them about the languages. I was curious, and they told me that they spoke Wolof. They spoke, they spoke several languages, Wolof, French, Fulani, um, Madinko. I even learned some Madinko, I forgot. Uh, I think Shumole, I remember Shumole. Shumole meaning hello, how are you? And then Mige, Mige is like I'm fine or something like that. But I, I started learning those languages at the fuel center. And I had my little, um, I had a little notepad. Every time I worked, I would take that to work and write down all of the sentences. Like they taught me the words and stuff, and I was actually becoming very conversational without an actual course, just asking asking them how to say certain things. So um, yeah, this was like for um, I worked there for like three years, something like that. Uh, so I guess I would say I was learning Wolof and Fulani off and on for a couple years. So um, yeah, uh, here in Columbus, I'm in Columbus, Ohio. We have a lot of people from West Africa, Senegal, um, Ghana. Uh, particularly since you're, you know, we're talking about Fulani. A lot of Fulani's, that's where, you know, they came from, like South or uh, West Africa, uh, particularly Senegal. And um, they're very nice and they're willing to help you if you're interested in learning their language. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm just excited. You, you made me want to put Wolof and Fulani in my active list, but I can't do that right now because I already have the languages I'm concentrating on. But, um, yeah, let me show you what I have here for uh, for these languages. I'm going to bring the camera down here, switch the um, position. Okay, let's see here. So, like I said, this is basically um, FSI. Put this up here. I was trying to decide how I was going to make this video this morning. I was just so happy. I wanted to uh, say a few words in Fulani and Wolo. Okay. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, multilingual books, tapes. 
So this is what it's when you get the course. First of all, this is the book, okay, for Fulani, and it's 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 basically FSI, a bunch of drills. I'm not a really big fan of FSI, but at the time, um, I was looking for resources to learn this language, and it was hard to find them. It was hard to find them, so I you know I didn't have a choice. I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just get this course. And at the time, this cost me a lot of money. I believe it was like maybe two between two to three hundred dollars. I paid for this course alone. Very, very expensive, but it's a rare language, and it was already hard to find resources, so that's why I got it. Now, there may be people out there who are unfamiliar with FSI, but like I said, FSI is basically, you know, drills, a bunch of drills. So you have. This is starting from Unit 5, but I just want to show you guys, give you an idea, a basic idea of how it's, how it's laid out. Okay. So as you can see, you have like useful classroom expressions that give you basic sentences. Want, like, breathe, take a breather, relax. Do you want to take a break? A break? Yes. Let's you and I take a break. So they put those, those words in sentences. They give you examples since you know, so that's is really good. Come on, we'll drink her tea. May study, should study. Okay, come on, we should study. So that's basically what FSI is all about. So yes. Now, when you get as far as the audio, I know it's very rare these days to use a um, tape player to have a tape player, but you will get these tapes all of these tapes here for the whole course so two cases full okay so that's what it's all about that's all I have for Fulani um like I said I, I when I started learning Fulani I had friends I would just ask them and I would just take notes but I think they um, for Wolof they have if you know French, which I know you know French, um, you can get some material for Wolof language like Wolof, Fulani, and um, oh I can't remember the name of that language. There's a very rare African languages um, they have resources for, but it, it's in in French. This is for um, Igbo language spoken in um, Nigeria. Igbo, Yoruba, Igbo, Ausa, those are the three main tribes in Nigeria. So if you decide to learn a language spoken in Nigeria, I will say go with either Yoruba, Igbo, or Ausa. Now, in, from my experience in, in um, Columbus, I've met more Igbo speakers than Yoruba or um, Ausa. So, yeah. Now, Wolof, I only have this right now. This is like a phrase book, dictionary phrase book. But if you're really trying to learn a language as far as becoming conversational, you're going to obviously need more than this. So, yep, that's what I have. I miss the wall of language. I used to practice almost every day with my friends. Those guys are awesome. So, um, yeah, I just want to make this video to show you what I have for these African languages. And, um... Yeah, you had me so happy here, man. I just wanted to start learning this Fulani and Wolof again. But uh, I'll I'll come back around. I'll have them in my non-active list for, for, for now. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any other questions concerning language resource or whatnot, just let me know. Um, I was going to make add, an, add a, uh, another part of this video to show you guys the website where you can get the FSI courses for free or you can get them like you showed me you, you sent me the link where you can purchase them for 20 bucks it all depends you know if you have the money or if you don't um, you can decide what you want to do so um, yeah that's it for this video uh, let me know what you guys think if you have any other questions and uh, look forward to your comments thanks for viewing